Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about uh, the question of whether or not public school forces beliefs on people in a way that I think is unhealthy. And I'll start this by saying that I think the answer is yes. But I want to talk about how this came up. I was having a conversation with some of my friends the other day, and we were talking about how in education these days, in public education, there's this kind of hyper-paranoid restriction on uh, teachers like expressing their own religious beliefs because uh, of the importance of separation of church and state. And I think that this is a valid concern. I think it's important because teachers are in a position of authority. It's important that they don't use that authority as a way to push their religious beliefs on students. Now here's the problem though. When you think about beliefs, uh, beliefs involve a lot more than just religion. And even thinking about religion, when I think about my religious beliefs, religion is something that I think about as all-encompassing. So there might be like theological beliefs, like belief in God or something like that, but then there are also like moral and ethical beliefs, and there are also like practical beliefs about what kind of structure I want for society, and what kind of social norms there are, and a lot of beliefs have to do with interpretations of things, like cultural beliefs. So beliefs encompass just about all aspects of life. And if you look at public education, I went through public education, so I'm speaking from experience here, if you look at it, it is pushing beliefs on people from day one. And in my case, it was often pushing them on me in a relatively authoritarian manner. Uh, there are all these rules in school, and the kids are uh, expected to follow the rules, and they're punished if they don't follow them. In some cases, they're rewarded if they do, and there's this sort of praise and criticism. So there's like explicit punishment, but there's also verbal sort of punishment and reward, like, oh, good job on this, oh no, this is wrong, and so on. So the kids are getting constant feedback and conditioning on their behavior and the work that they're doing. And there's also all this implicit conditioning. There are all these ideas out there. Like one of them that I think is really problematic is the idea of success. And that's often tied to ideas of like grades and achievement and things like that. And there are a lot of cultural beliefs about success. And I think they're often pushed on kids in school in a way that is not consensual, and furthermore, that is sort of implicit. I sometimes think that it's actually less harmful to kids and to people in general when someone is explicitly forcing their religious beliefs on them in a pushy manner. Sometimes I think that's less harmful than these implicit ways that beliefs are pushed on them, like beliefs about success and failure, beliefs about how to sort of get ahead in life, beliefs about what matters in life, beliefs about what good ways are to interact with people, good ways to handle situations, good ways to learn, and so on. I think that those implicit beliefs can actually be much more damaging because it's harder to see that they're being pushed on you. So like if someone's pushing their religious beliefs on you, it's usually something that sends up red flags for most people. I know it's something like when someone does it to me, I get really defensive, I feel like what's something feels wrong, I'm like why is this person doing this, it's really annoying, and it's the kind of thing that I see in society when it happens in a school, people go up in arms about it, and often there's a court case, uh, people take action to prevent it. But these sort of milder, implicit pushing of beliefs on people, they're harder to spot, and even when people are aware of them, I don't see much happening about them. So, okay, this is this giant problem that I just put out there. So I'm not necessarily proposing an instant or easy solution, but I just want us to entertain this idea that, that, that there are a lot of things that are forced on kids in a non-consensual way, a lot of beliefs, things that influence their belief system in school, in public education. And I think it's kind of problematic kind of inconsistent, perhaps a bit hypocritical, to get so focused on not allowing teachers to push their beliefs on kids when it comes to explicit religious beliefs, when at the same time this whole system is just constantly, non-stop, 
pushing beliefs on them through like social conditioning, implicit beliefs about society and social norms and things like that. What, what do I want? I would love to start questioning these things. I would love to see uh, people be more explicit about what messages they're trying to send to kids in school. And I think that's important from like an administrative standpoint, it's important from the teachers, and I think it's important to have like a dialogue. And I want everyone to be included in that dialogue. I want when teachers are trying to instill certain values in kids, I want them to be upfront about the fact that they're doing that. I want them to be upfront to the kids, upfront to the teachers, and I want them to be open to dialogue. Like if, if the parent comes in and they're like, you know, you said this in class and this is sending a message to my kid that I really disagree with. I think that there's a certain responsibility that the teacher has to sit down and hash out those issues. And I think in society, I want us to see, start doing that too. One thing I see a lot on Tumblr, I see people talking about how being in school creates this environment in which it's easy for them to feel anxiety, depression, and sometimes like suicidal thoughts. And I understand this. I think this is a really terrible thing, and I could talk more about this, but I think that there are a lot of aspects of the school system that push beliefs on people that actually make them more prone to anxiety and depression and mental illness. And I think that if we start talking about this, we can root those things out. And I want our model, our goal, or our ideal to be one in which education as a whole is more consensual. We're not pushing stuff on kids, whether it's explicit or implicit, and we're involving the kids and the parents and the teachers and the administrators in a decision-making process as equals. So everyone comes together and we try to, to find stuff that works for everyone and anybody can raise a concern. That's my ideal. So I'd love to hear from you. Obviously this is a topic I want to talk about more because there are a lot of specifics about it, but I'd love to get comments whether you agree or disagree. Uh, if you like what I have to say, please share this video and please consider subscribing. Thank you.